Welcome to Landscaping Made Simple. I'm Bobby Kay. I'm a landscape designer and general contractor. And when it comes to tackling a backyard, front yard, whatever kind of project it is, it can be stressful. And what you wanna make sure you do is address three main things. Three things that if you get those things checked off is going to make life a lot easier, a lot less stressful, and it's going to set you up to win for your overall project. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you are tackling a project is you gotta get clarity. You gotta understand what you like and what's of importance. When you're starting out this, process you're going to look at lots of different content there's going to be google and pinterest and youtube videos and all these different things neighbors whatever right lots and lots and lots of stuff how do you zone in well start with your style what are the things that are most like the most important to you are you somebody who knows for a fact you want that fire pit are you gonna grill a lot? Do you want that outdoor kitchen? Are you looking for more shade because you got a really sunny yard and you know it's just gonna get blasted and there's no point in ever being out there because you're gonna be uncomfortable where you might want a structure with the TV and the fans and blah, 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 right? So once you start to lock on what are the wants, then you're gonna start to gather up some intel, right? You're gonna get that mood board together. You will go on to Pinterest. You will watch YouTube videos. You will go on Facebook. You are going to start to get out there and explore what are some things that are catching your eye and that you could see in your front yard, your backyard, your side, whatever it is. But here's the thing, having all of this data doesn't do it justice. You really need to get your hands on it. This is the main thing I want you to lock on go and check out projects of maybe somebody you're considering hiring and look at the actual products. Put your hands on the pavers. Um, if you know you are going to have this big outdoor living space and you wanna stage it, go look at the furniture, go to material like showrooms. Don't just go on Amazon and even though AI is really cool and they've got some gadgets where you can have a chair and you can literally take your phone and you can put your phone in a room and it drops the chair in the room and you can see, oh, that's what it's gonna look like in real life. It does not take away the place of actually feeling it. Get your hands out there and make sure that you are getting samples and seeing all the things that you're considering for the yard. So you're gonna lock on your style, you're gonna figure out what are some of the things that you know for a fact that you want, and then you're actually gonna to touch these things. Okay, so that second thing is the challenges. Every yard has challenges, and I'm not talking about elevations are starting to go or you got a tree in the wrong place. These are things that when you start to partner up with a landscape designer or a professional, you're gonna to start to be able to tackle that. I'm talking just simply from a place of, we know what we like, we know what we're probably going towards, but there are too many ideas going on. Like, I want this and this and this and this, and how do you narrow it down, especially when you're on a budget, which everybody's on a budget, no matter if you got a $300,000 budget or a $20,000 budget for your project, everybody's got a threshold, a point where they've got to kind of cut the cord. So first thing I want you to think about is what are the things that are nice to have and what are the things that you must have? Like absolutely no negotiating, this is for sure what I have. Say you want a fire pit. Maybe instead of that custom veneer table fire pit that you saw at the restaurant down the street that might be $5,000, you go to something more economical like a solo stove or a modular block kit that would only be say $400 to $1,000. And what did that just do? That freed up $4,000 bucks for that furniture that you want. Now you've taken a little bit from here, you still checked off the line item, and you can get the furniture you want. Must haves and need to have. Separate those two items. The next thing I want you to think about is maintenance. Every single yard is gonna have some type of maintenance and you gotta think about your lifestyle and how busy you are, what season of life you're in. Are you a young professional once everything just completely done so you can take your time to go out on the weekends, maybe there's a bowling night or softball or you got some dates and you're starting to develop that, I wanna get into the family season. Are you a family guy? Are you Nicolas Cage from The Family Guy? I've said that in a couple of videos. Um, I'm definitely in this one and where your time is just eaten up like crazy and you have no time to get out there. You might have enough time to cut the grass and do a little bit in the beds, but that's about it. How much of this is gonna be hardscaping versus landscaping? Um, or are you in a different season where maybe you're retired and you got all the time in the world and you wanna get out there and garden and do things. So 
think about maintenance when it comes to how you're going to design all this space. Are you going to have more patio and more hardscaping, which is going to be less maintenance than a bunch of landscape beds and plants, which are going to come with that. And the final thing that I want you to lock in is kind of going back to the first step where you were gathering up all that inspiration. What's the thing that keeps coming up for you? Do you notice that you're just more into that English garden or that French kind of uh, feel? Or are you more of clean, simplistic lines, minimalist? It might be more of a modern vibe. I want you to take all this data from the pictures, from looking at actual substance, the products, to thinking about your lifestyle. And now you're gonna take all this and start to pinpoint, okay, I know I'm going minimalist, or I know I'm going Zen, or I'm gonna go with this because I have a mid-century modern house, and it's gonna go with the architecture, and it's gonna check off all the boxes. So you got your style, you got your maintenance, you're kind of around that lifestyle, you know where you wanna take this thing. This is the part where you gotta collaborate with somebody. Get somebody to help you. I'm talking about a landscape designer. I'm talking about your secret weapon. This is the person that's been doing this a long time. They know how to do software. They know how to put all of these pieces together that are gonna address any challenges that you may have in your yard and visually connect. They're gonna put boom, 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 boom together and put it together on the budget that you're comfortable with. They're gonna know that this fire pit is a better option so that you can get this furniture that you want so that you can have enough patio space to put it all together. That is the power of teaming up with somebody, investing a little bit up front so that you don't have these massive mistakes that compound as you get into a project. I mean, can you imagine jumping into something where you sign a contract, say it's a $50,000 job, and all of a sudden the grade on this side wasn't thought of or it wasn't addressed because you didn't have a design to look at in the first place, and they say, you know what? We're gonna have to carve into here, we're gonna have to get these materials, and this is the transition, there's no other way, and we gotta retain this hillside, that's gonna be another $10,000. And you're gonna be like, what? You're already in. By getting a design, by teaming up with somebody who's going to find ways creatively to check all your boxes, lay everything out, before a shovel hits the ground, you're gonna save so much time, stress, frustration, heartache, worry, all the things that keep us up go away. This is the power of the collaboration. Get it in 3D, make sure you see everything and how it's laid out. You may think it needs to be this way because you saw a Pinterest image and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I'd never thought of it doing that way. Oh, by the way, that was $5,000 cheaper, okay? So you're gonna gather up all your inspiration, you're gonna figure out your lifestyle and your maintenance, and then you're gonna collaborate with somebody. If you need help with this, this is what we do. I would love to help you. We do Zoom consultations. We take you through a whole process and make sure that you get this thing nailed down exactly how you want so that you're set up to win and it hits the budget and everything that you ever wanted, you get because you thought of it and you got everything planned out. If you wanna learn more, keep going down the rabbit hole. Got lots of videos. Otherwise, I would say the best place to start after this is to go outside, take a walk, let all this sink in and really zone in on what the must-haves and what are the nice-to-haves. This is Bobby K saying creation is everything, so go out and create. See you on the next video.